When it comes to the inevitable end of the show, we want to somehow put it off so that we can get as much Outlander time as possible. And while there's a big part of me who desperately wants all 16 episodes at once, the logical part considers reality and the hiatus we could be dealing with for season 8 if the show finished before winter, or even if they split it and air the second half before year's end. So what is our best case scenario? Well, honestly, an 8 episode split with a fairly decent wait between part 1 and 2. It's sort of the best case scenario out of a few bad choices, especially knowing the 8th season is the last with only 10 episodes. Bear with me here, but we could get more consistent flow of Outlander if we get 8 this summer, then go without until, say, February, then pick it up again next fall, new episodes through 2024, or maybe the beginning of 2025, which isn't the worst way to end it, if we must end it, that is. Hi and welcome back to Katie's Corner in Space as we gather once again to revel in the fact we have made it through 41 weeks now with yet no new Outlander. And hey, it looks like I could be at this with you for at least another two years. So buckle up, I know you're always welcome to hang out here to enjoy some fun Droughtlander videos. Real quickly, I'd like to announce some new items for this channel. I asked for some opinions and you were kind enough to give me some thoughts. After some research, it made sense to create a channel plaid or tartan rather than to, say, the, use the Fraser tartan. And I wanted to give my channel's choices some distinction, so I present to you the KCS plaid. So once again, I defer to you to let me know what you think in the comments below. After all, Outlander fans are pretty awesome. Case in point, together, through GoFundMe, Outlander fans helped Colrose Community purchase the Red Lion Inn. This gained much traction after Sam shared a personal tweet about how he and Kate had had their first drink there. All told, over $15,000 US was raised. We can now all take some time to pat ourselves on the back. Man, we're cool. If you're still suffering from lack of entertainment or need to give your DVDs a rest, Graham has invited us all to join a rather impromptu and not necessarily official book club. So I thought I'd uh, actually look at some books today. Um, and these are books that I've not read. He apparently has a habit of obtaining quite a few books at once and shares his latest acquisitions in the hopes we might join him in a read. His list is varied, so you'd be hard-pressed not to find something you'd take a liking to. Of course, Sam recommends some physical activities and is setting an impressive example participating in High Rocks Glasgow as part of his My Peaks Challenge. He and his partner managed an incredible 35th place out of 300 plus competitors. Well done, Sam and Nick. Of course, Sam is also gearing up for his new romantic comedy movie release of It's All Coming Back to Me Now, but first, a teaser to come on Valentine's Day. Originally the release date for the movie, now fans can look forward to a sneak peek at this mashup of Sam and Celine. And as we love a good sneak peek, here's another one, and I do believe it is spoil free so all can enjoy this behind the scenes peek at Wilmington. Every year we say to each other, oh, it's going to be easy this season. Like. <laughs> You know, we've got more standing sets and um, it's no problem. This is one of the largest backlots in Europe. It's one of my favorite parts of working on the show is coming into this, dropping into this, just brings everything alive in such a real tangible way. Yeah, this is just a small portion of the Wilmington set. It's actually huge. It goes, you know, quite a good bit back. A lot just happened to Brianna in this area. She met Jamie for the very first time, just around that corner. She lost her virginity in this lovely little shack. And, and there's more to come. We have not seen the end of Wilmington yet because on a little street behind you, which I won't show you yet, some very cool things may or may not be set to happen in season seven. So we will see you back here then. Of course, the full video can be seen on Star's own YouTube channel and the link for that video will be in the links below. So go check it out. As of course there just isn't much more to include, I thought I'd take a look back at one of the cast panels. What can I say? New York Comic Con from 2019 just drew me to it. No particular reason. You listen to me. If you ever raise a hand to me again, Jamie Fraser, I will cut out your heart and I will eat up a breakfast. Do you understand me? Okay, I had a specific inspiration, but a rewatch reminded me of some of these funny moments, and well, you know me, I love to share. You love it. 
I do really enjoy the banter between our stars, and apparently this time it was, let's pick on Duncan and Murta. Where in history would Murta do most good? Mm-hmm. Right now needs Murta, yeah. We- Duncan made Murta, I think he's really brought him to life, and we all, we all want a Murta in our lives, and um, thank you. Of course, the important part of any panel is the whiskey. And I just want to thank each panel host who does their very best to get the cast good and sloshed to try and coax out a spoiler. Okay, and by the way, if there's ever a question that feels uncomfortable, we do have shots of whiskey that you can partake in as an alternative. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. Do you want some whiskey? Do you want a whiskey? Yes, please, whiskey whiskey please. But I just don't think they know what they are up against in that regard. I'd say we'd both give it a run for our money. <laughs> We've both fairness. been to a pub together a few we times, have, and yeah. it's pretty much neck and neck. Have a national reputation to maintain. <laughs> I've also been to uh, a pub with Diana, and she can also. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, not knowing everything we would see in season five did make those literary to screen changes more entertaining and, of course, surprising. So even if we get little to no more information about what the creators decided to include. At least we've learned from history it will be worth the wait. But if you are finding the wait troublesome, remember you can always come right here and enjoy more Droughtlander videos. I seem to have accumulated one or two, and I'll see you there.